live, keep watching. It's always a fun time. A lot of you guys listen to this like a podcast, which is really cool. And we do this once a week right now through April. And then I think in May, we're going to start up the twice a week. Through the summer, we go live twice a week because it's summertime. You know, I enjoy that time more with my family and everything. So it is huge to get like time off and everything. So uh, once again, guys, uh, thank you so much for uh, jumping on live stream. Thanks for watching it. And uh, yeah, let's jump into this. It's going to be a sick time. You know, these live streams, the biggest thing about them and why you should jump on them during the summer is there's less people here. Uh, and uh, so I can answer more questions and get more connection. You know, we get to bond a little bit more and everything. Uh, your boy Austin, who just jumped in. What up, dude? Eric's in the house too. Nathan, how we doing? Rob Rogers. You know, the the main dudes. And then uh, everyone's starting to jump up. Hey, B1980, why uh, W-Y-O, you're coming to camp. What's your name and what week are you coming to? We, I'm like trying to organize, and this is the one thing I need to build a new camp website. I'm trying to organize who's coming. I think we have 19 people signed up for camp, which is like one spot left. And so I don't know who's coming when. And I'm like, oh, I gotta make sure like not everyone's coming week two, not everyone's coming week one. That way it's all like divvied up and everything. So um, super hyped that that many people have signed up for camp. It's gonna be literally the sickest time ever. So thank you to everyone that has. Signed up for camp. I'm, uh, I'm really excited to teach you guys how to get better at snowboarding as well as just spend time with you. Camp is about the community, like-minded people and everything. Jen, Russ, how we doing? What up, Jen? Uh, Dio Toth, what up? Hayden Coons, how you been, man? What's up? Britt is in the house. Still awake on the East Coast. I know these late live streams are tough for the East Coast. I'm sorry, guys. But shout out to everyone that does show up uh, from the East Coast. How we doing? How we doing? Rick, Ken's are in the house. How we doing, man? Uh, I hope you and the family are doing well. Hope you had a great uh, season on the West Coast. I think it's still going, though. Uh, Joseph, uh, yo, dude, learn so many new tricks because your videos this season. Let's go, man. I love it so much. I love I love hearing that. Um, what I do want to do. What I do, what I do want to do. I want to do that. I want to do that. I'm going to give a shout out to our boy Michael, of course, coming in with the first donation of the live stream on Venmo. The blue bar, guys, has my Venmo and my Streamlabs. One, you can drop a donation when we're not live, uh, like our boy Alex did, dropping a $100 donation yesterday, dude. Thank you so much for the big 100 yesterday uh, on the premiere. But Michael dropped a potato, literally just probably, probably calling me a potato. Way to go, Michael. Uh, with the dude, thank you for the $10.80 donation. He wants me to get the 1080. I'm not going to lie, the 1080 goes forever away. My jumps this season degressed which happens um i just means i'm gonna i mean the season's not even close to being over we got so much more jumps ahead of us i'm like jumps till the end of this i'm going hard as long as we have jumps i'm going hard i'm really frustrated with my jumps um but that's this is the way the way he goes sometimes i think i need to redo this pop out chat also something that's gonna be fun this summer once we get back from mount hood is uh, revamping the live stream slash like how we film uh, the resort reviews and everything. Resort reviews will come back in the summer slash resort reviews. We're gonna film, I hire, I'm hire. i hiring my brother as my editor, my little brother Ben, who helped me start the channel. Um, I'm gonna hire him as the edit, uh, an edit, uh, second editor. So we'll have two editors for the channel. And the way it's going to work is I'm going to give him, I'm going to come in their office and film like five resort reviews in a row uh, each week. And then I'm going to give him the resort reviews. He's going to edit those five and then we'll meet up again, swap them. You know what I'm saying? And so then, and he's going to help me better the resort reviews with like pop-ups and things. And then that way we can go into like the next season with like 40 of them like done and ready. So like when we go to Alaska, we can like post one for a buffer day so we can just enjoy our time in Alaska as well as I want them to be posting throughout the season. So I think the resort reviews are cool. Uh, I know a lot of you guys do like the resort reviews and um, I think they're important for the resort map and, you know, uh, resortskimaps.com, everything we're doing there. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Will Flip, what up, dude? Uh, JC Blast says, hey, JB, uh, great job on Rambo. I would be dead. <laughs> JC, thanks. The crazy thing is the Crested Beat video that posts is tomorrow. We rode steeper terrain than Rambo. Rambo's technically the steepest cut run. So like they like purposely made that run. It's the steepest made run. Um, but 
obviously like bowls and big mountain and, and shoots can kind of be the steeper runs. I was expecting it to be a shoot. I had no idea. I like to like, I like research Rambo, but I didn't like look it up. I like to be surprised when I show up to stuff. So like when I rolled up on Rambo to ride it for the first time, I've never seen it before. So I showed up and I was like, whoa, whoa, dude. Okay, I gotta fix this. All right, that's fixed so I don't get a call. Are you kidding me, Rick? You kidding me, dude? Just get the get the live stream just going. Rick, you're an animal, man. I, I hope you got an incredible winner. Rick, who has always been uh, very awesome to Team Hawk House and always dropping us awesome donations, said, just because I missed a lot, LOL, dropped a $200 donation. Are you kidding me, man? Rick, appreciate you so much, man. You've helped out. Literally, you've helped out the channel so much. And I say this every time someone drops a major donation, like 200 bucks. That $200 donation, it comes to me, but it goes to you guys. That $200 is going towards the Alaska trip, especially as, or like paying my little brother, Ben, to be a full-time editor so I can bring more content for you guys. Because I'd love um, every, so like we're going live today, so no video posted. We did do a couple double posts this season. But next season, if we do get 40 resort reviews filmed before next season, like every Wednesday, we drop a resort review and we go live. Um, things like that. And like, it costs money to have another editor. I got to pay my brother to edit my videos for me because that's just the way the world works. And so I can take that money that Rick just dropped you. Thank you so much for that, dude. And put it towards the channel. And I, and so I know some people can't donate and it's okay because some people can. And just watching the videos, guys, and being around is huge. So thank you, Rick. Thank you, everyone that drops those donos. Uh, I really appreciate you guys. And you did that on Venmo once again. Uh, the blue bar is my Venmo and Streamlabs. I get 100% of those donations. So if you're going to drop a $200 donation, Venmo or Streamlabs is the place to do it because I'll get all that money. But if you did it on YouTube uh, with the Super Chats, YouTube would take 30% of that. So we'd lose 60 bucks right there. Um... So, but we never complain about Super Chat. If the Super Chat's the way you gotta do it, do it up. Oops. Trevor, how we doing, man? Trevor's coming to camp, so stoked. Uh, uh, what are your spring snowboard plans? Park, 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 park. Chasing park, sending park, riding as much park as possible. I feel like I didn't get a lot of park riding in this season. Believe it or not, I really feel like we just did not get a lot of park riding in. So, sending the park. That's the plan. Uh, B1980 says, my spot is open. I'm road tripping of the 16s. I'll be solo. I wanted to come and say hi. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. You, you said that last time. Okay. Going to Brighton for two weeks or going to Brighton uh, for two days this week. Dude, Brighton is awesome. Rick, they have a ton of big mountain at Brighton as well. Park's okay. Uh, it's pretty good. Uh, they have some big jumps, but... Uh, the, like the right side of Brighton with like the rocks drops and all that stuff. That was super fun. Uh, people at camp also get YouTube co-star famous, right? Chris is a uh, camp famous, right? Dark, dark. Chris, dude, what up, man? Stoked to see you in the chat. Boyne Mountain seems to have uh, closed most of their terrain in the past few days but stoked they're still open. See, that's that's all that matters. Is, like, is there a sliver? Is there still some snow? I'm showing up. I'm riding. That's how you got to do it. Oh, we got Cody in the house. Hello, snowboarders of the internet. How we doing, Cody? I was wondering if Alex is going crazy with the donos again. Dude, Alex is the man. He's also coming to summer camp, so I'm excited to meet Alex in person. Uh, do 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 Camp 2023. Dude, Camp 2023 is going to be sick. Camp's always sick. Dude, this year is going to be so fun, though, because, like, the ski... So we're doing a migration. We're leaving on May 1st. We're leaving Colorado. We're heading to Mammoth um, Mountain in um, California. We're going to spend two weeks at Mammoth shredding, and then the ski dock and Cody are going on that adventure with us. Mammoth is going to have a sick springtime park. That's why we're headed to Mammoth, is to ride park in the spring, because, like, in... In May, all the Colorado parks kind of closed down. It basically has like a little one open, but we're trying to go to like a sick park with a jump line um, and still sending it. So we're going to head out, out to Mammoth, send it, and then take a week off, go to Disneyland slash like aquariums and zoos, like in California with my family. Uh, Cody and Michael are going to go do their own thing. Then we're going to head up to like Squaw Valley slash Palisades, the new name, um, if they're still open and, and send it there. 
and then the goal is to show up at uh, Mount Hood, Timberline, June 1st, and get the summer passes, get a couple days of shredding in before the campers show up. Campers are going to show up, we're going to send it, and it's going to be a great time. And then we'll be back in Colorado mid-July. So we'll leave like the second week of July, come back to Colorado, and uh, yeah, that's going to be dope. My brother likes snowboarding. He just has other priorities. He's really focusing on his like gaming career and things like that. So um, he's self-employed right now, which is awesome. And he was just like, yo, I got some extra time. If you're going to pay me, I'll, I'll, I'll edit your resort reviews. That's not hard. And so, yeah. Jason, how we doing? Cody's staying through the summer and coming back next year or one and done? Dude, Cody's ain't, Cody ain't going nowhere. Cody... The goal, and when I told Cody when we brought when I brought him to Team Huck House, we brought him on. We're like, "Yo, Cody!" I, I was like, "I don't want this to be like you work for me and you disappear." I was like, "I want you to be like my forever dude." Like Cody, like you know, we got Ski Doc and we got um everyone else, but like Cody was the first dude that like is on board, like hired. Like my number two is Cody. Um, you know, like Michael's my best friend, but like Cody's the dude. So I'm, I'm really stoked that uh, Cody's going to be around forever. You know, like, like that's that's the plan is to keep the slush badger forever. Um, Chris knows. And I always I always tell Cody, like, yo, dude, the number two at Facebook won huge. Like he, that dude, you don't know who he is, but that guy, he killed it. And like, that's what I want for Cody. Because like, we're going to take this thing as big as we can. Like I, I say, like, the goal is bigger than burnt snowboards. Like eyes are set on it. We're going for it. So that's, that's the plan. Um, we're going to go hard on trying to get products for next season too, like more snowboard products. Like we came out with the windbreakers, uh, this season, that was just one little product. You know, we had the pro model goggles come out. I meet with Kuno tomorrow in person, which I'm super stoked, uh, with, and we're going to talk strategy for next season and pro model for next season. Um, and they just like keep turning this into a snowboard brand. You know, at some point, maybe we do, like, really ramp it up. I don't know. Yeah, I got, I, this is all new territory for me. I started this, and I just wanted the snowboard. Now I am, I'm, like, claiming we're going to be bigger than Burton, you know. like, But I just, you know, I can't leave my family a YouTube channel. I know we have attention on us right now, so, like, let's create a big snowboard brand. Um, You guys love the logo. I love the logo. And uh, we're going all in. Tyler Freyer, dude. How we doing? How's Copper? I haven't seen you in a while. What up, man? It's been a while. Dude, thanks for the $5 donation. I hope you had an insane season at Copper, bro. I have not been riding a lot of Copper. I just, personally, I've always liked Keystone more. I love the A51 chairlift. Keystone's made a good park this season, so it's like, I'm not gonna go to Copper. I like the Keystone lap better. Um, also, I like the vibe at Keystone way more. And so, we've been just hitting Keystone. Even Cody's like, dude, I like Keystone more. And I'm like, dude, I told you, Keystone's sick. And so, uh, the next, I'll be at Keystone tomorrow. So, if you guys are shredding Keystone tomorrow, come say what up to me. You will only find me in the park, even though there probably be good snow. Like I am focused, like park riding. I want to, I want to send the park. So was Rambo a triple diamond? Uh, they just had it as a double black ace. Uh, the hardest thing about Rambo, and you guys can see it in the video, but the first five feet across the entire thing was rocks, just jagged rocks. I don't know if it's from people getting in or from uh, the wind just hitting the top really hard and kind of stripping it. So we had to go into the trees to get into the run and it was good. And uh, the hardest part about Rambo was there was just no snow. So even when we got past where they passed the rocks, it was still icy and very barren. So like every turn was like a turn for your life. And when you're riding very steep terrain and you don't have good snow in it, it's hard to make fancy, nice turns. You're literally making like jump turns and like things like that. Tomorrow's video, we ride once again, steeper and gnarlier, big mountain stuff. But the snow is a little better too, so it, it it's a little nice. It's like tomorrow's video is sick. I'm like halfway done editing it. I'll edit the rest tonight, as well as my mountain TV video for tomorrow. I got a lot of editing to do tonight. We also did LED snowboarding with Kenny, who Kenny made the resort map, and Kenny also came over and built the sickest. I posted a short about it, but like an LED backyard park setup. It's gonna be really sick. It's gonna be a shorter video because we filmed it at night and Bobby was out of town, so I like had the baby monitor, listen for the kiddos and everything. They slept they slept through the whole session. Uh, but it was, it was good. I can't wait for you guys to see that.
Prince says, got close lined on purpose, got close lined on purpose by a six year old angry man, and I'm 17. I immediately told Ski Patrol. They laughed at me and said, it's a nice day. Go out there and have fun. Oh, Clint, man, I'm sorry about that. That was kind of lame. The whole That whole situation sounds lame, but I hope you did have a good day, man. Do I have a favorite hockey team? If I had to pick, I'd have to say the Avalanche just because, you know, Bobby grew up in Colorado. She's the hockey fan in the family. I'm kind of like, I don't really care. Like, if it's a playoffs, I'll watch. But I really struggle with the, like, seven-game series or, like, whatever, five-game series in the playoffs, whatever it is. Like, I love football. One and done, dude. You could be the better team, but if you didn't show up that day, you're out, which always happens to the Packers. <sighs> and so, uh, but I love going to hockey games, you know, and that's something me and Bobby did a lot uh, before having a bunch of kids. Now we have kids, it's a little harder. So it's just our babysitters moved from up here too. So it's like, we have kids and we don't have babysitters. Uh, so it's a, it's a little tricky, but we're figuring it out. And so if I had to pick a favorite hockey team, I'm going to go with the Avalanche. But uh, Bucks for basketball. Um, I could say Brewers for baseball. I don't really watch. I really don't watch any baseball. Um, you, go, you guys don't go pack for football. Chris Andrews, the man, the myth, the legend. 17 months as a member, dude. You're insane, Chris. Thank you for that. Bro, Rambo was no joke. I know I couldn't do that run, dude. Thank you, Chris. It was it was steep and gnarly. It was I was so hyped after, not because of I don't it wasn't the hardest run I've ever done. I was so hyped after because you know I, I like after riding what was it? We rode it was like the steep gullies and like the east wall last year. I was like, yo, I gotta ride like the hardest run like that you can search. And so like you if you go on Google and you search the steepest run in America or North America, like the steepest, you know, steepest run in North America, Rambo is going to be the one that pops up. So I was like, I got to go get it. I got to go ride it. It's at Crested Butte. Like we planned the trip to Crested Butte mainly to go, like literally to ride Rambo was like the main reason. I did two days because I was like, I know this mountain's sick. So I was like, I was planning like a big mountain day and then a park day ended up being like big mountain day, big mountain day and a little bit of park at the end. Their park was not that sick. Um... And so I was so hyped because we like when you plan it, you know, like we're coming out this time, but we're coming late because we want the snow to be there, everything like that. Show up. It was a gnarly, windy day. Snow was icy and firm. Like it was not the best conditions. They haven't got snow in, for, in forever. No one's getting snow. And uh showed up. It was it was open. Like at the bottom, I was asking all the information people. I was like, is Rambo open? Is Rambo open? They're like, ah, probably not. Probably not open. I'm like, no, like we did this trip to ride Rambo. And then it, we show up and it is open. We ride it. And now that's like searchable. It's going to be there, which is huge. Because just like we did Corbett's, I was like, we got to go ride Corbett's. Like last year, it was like same time of the year. We uh, made a strike mission. It's like, I like to go like, strike mission to Jackson Hole. We showed up to ride Corbett's. We show up there. It's open. We fall into it because it's impossible to ride because it's just an icy shoot. The snow wasn't great. That Corbett's video hit like 160,000, 140 or 160,000 this season because it's Corbett's is so searchable and it's on like everyone's mind right now and everything like that. So it was important to get that video out and it, it paid off because it did get all the, it, like the traction that I thought it could get. It didn't get it last year, it got it this season, which is another thing to think about. Um, so yeah, that was a, that was a big little rant right there. So hyped to, uh, this, so hyped when a strike mission works because sometimes the strike mission just, falls apart i don't want to say the week on the east this year week on the east this year though was uh yeah it was it was amazing but like it was like oh we gotta change the day oh we gotta change the day sorry we gotta change the day and so yeah kelly it's funny you caught my attention with the with the word lamar is lamar a good brand so i haven't heard of Le about lamar in a very long time kelly i didn't even know they were still operating it's an, I want, I want to say it's an older brand because my first ever snowboard, I have it. I want to make a video where I, like, titled like riding my first ever snowboard. Uh, my first ever board I rode was a Lamar. I have it. My first, I, not every board I rode, first ever board I rode was a World Industries. But the first ever bo board I owned, my board was the Lamar as a Tiki Man design. It was sick. So is it a good brand? I still have the board. It did good for me. But, um, 
I haven't heard anything from Lamar recently, Kelly, so. President Cody, Joey K. When you can do a reaction video again, reaction videos will probably come back in the summertime. They they do good. They're not they're not bad. I they're just better summertime content. If you, I want, it's getting towards the end of the season. I need more reaction clips, so Cody can make another reaction of you guys because this will probably be the last reaction video of you guys. I'm assuming because we got to get your clips and then everyone dies off in the summertime. So if you're still around and you haven't submitted a clip yet, whether it's a stomp, a make. Stomp is a make. Whether it's a stomp or a fail or something funny of your friends or whatever, send your clip to that email right there. Teamhawkhouse at buckhouseindy.com. That is where you want to send any of your snowboard clips for me to react to in the reaction videos. So please, guys, send your clips there. Does Chris if you have good mountain terrain above tree line? I feel like that's all Chris if you is. Crested Butte's map, if you go look at the map, you're going to get fooled. Because I was like, this map is whack. It like doesn't really show everything. And they were like, because Vale wants to not... Pe vale doesn't want people to know that like 80% of the mountain is black diamonds. And it is true. Like the green runs that they blow up on the map and like, yo, come ride all this green terrain is a very, very small amount of their like mountain. It's like, it's literally like 20% of their mountain. The rest of it is all double black, big mountain. Like take the T-bar, you're sending it. Uh, we went all the way out to third bowl in tomorrow's video. This, the most insane inbounds terrain. Like, I'd argue more insane than uh, A Basin's inbounds terrain. So I was hyped on that. I really can't wait to get out to, uh, what's it called? Big Sky in Montana and check that out. But I, I kind of want to save Big Sky too. I don't want to ride all of the good runs like right away. Um, Crested Butte was, was dope. I said it in yesterday's video too. Like a lot of people were like, yo, go to Crescent Butte, Crescent Butte's sick, go to Crescent Butte. And I was like, I believe you guys. It's sick. But then like when I showed up and I wrote it, I was like, no, like I was wrong. Like it, it is, it is way sicker than what I thought it was going to be. Luke, I've never snowboarded in Europe. I haven't snow, I haven't left the country. Uh, but hopefully that all that will change soon. How did Cody get the the slush badger name? That was uh, given to Cody from our boy Chris. Dark Dark gave uh, Cody the title slush badger. Maybe that should be Cody's sticker is the slush badger. Cody loves uh, s springtime snowboarding, like slush snowboarding. Like, it's like Cody's favorite. We're like in the heart of the winter on a sick powder day. And he's like, this is fun. But have you ever rode slush? He's, he's like wants to ride slush so bad. So that is how Cody got the uh, the crown, the title slush badger brian thanks man yeah we're gonna do a lot with uh this channel we're gonna keep we're gonna keep the momentum going we're just getting started you know we have a hundred thousand subscribers i feel like we haven't done nothing we haven't done nothing that i want to do i bought a snowmobile this year i didn't even get to make the i bought a snowmobile video i was gonna go out one day i was gonna go out and do that and i made bobby mad and then that kind of ruined the day so I didn't go out, you know, it was like go out or lose my marriage. So I was like, I'm going to pick the marriage. And so I still haven't made the like, I've only taken the snowmobile out once. Next uh, next season, expect more snowmobile. What I learned quick, I mean, I kind of already knew. But if you only have one sled, but you need Mike, like if I need Cody to be out there, it's hard to only have one sled. So versus JB, uh, it was awesome seeing the clip seeing the clip of the day a couple days ago where you with a bunch of locals who all had your goggles on on the chairlift together oh yeah wasn't that sick roberto i love i love you guys so much you guys made my my you guys make my it's changed my life you make my day every single day the amount of like incredible comments and and feedback i get and just the live chat being able to Every Wednesday, I get to jump on and talk to 57 friends right now. Like, that's that's insane. And um, I hope you guys stick around all, all, all summer. 
course, it's gonna be like, dude, Russ, you changed your image. You changed your photo. How am I gonna know who you are, Russ? That's one of the, the toughest things is when you guys change your profile photos. Cause like, I'm a very like visual, you know, I see it and that's how I kind of remember. Um, like Joey K's got me and him. That's his, his profile that Joey K man. I see that. Kevin, I still need to like skin out to the, uh, the, the plan was to take the split board and split to the Keystone back bowls. I still need to do that. I have the split board, but all that, like the day I did go out to do that, the day I planned that, it all fell apart. It's so hard when like, I want to park ride so bad. Like I want to keep pushing my ability as a shredder. And then I have like, but I also want to like make awesome content for you guys with split boarding and big mountain ride. It's like, how do I do all of it? There's not enough time. There's not enough days. And you guys know this more than anyone. I get to do it every day. You guys are like, yo, I only get to go like once a week or once, twice or three times a month. Like I get it. Like there's not enough time for us guys. How do we fix this problem? We need longer winners. Oh, Kobe says, any tips for the steep gullies at Arapaho Basin? Right now, be careful because it is very rocky. I, I even, like, we were planning on riding the east wall today, and we showed up, and, like, we could tell from, like, the lift that the east wall is just so barren and so rocky. They have not, like, a basin has not gotten great snow. Um, so that's my first tip is be careful for the rocks. You, if for your first time ever, I believe it's notch three, it's gonna be the easiest one to get into. So you go through the steep gully gate, kind of go down, and then you'll you'll kind of see the mountain kind of like turns to the right and you can drop the easiest entry. That one is, that one's good. It's, it's pretty, pretty easy. The hike out is, it's just long. It's got a little bit of steep ups, um, but just make sure, especially because once again, they don't have a ton of great snow that every turn you make is a, is a for sure turn. Cause if you slip out and then it's very rocky, you can slip out and slide and hit your butt on a rock, which is not good. And when you're riding very steep terrain, a lot of people, it's very natural. If you're gonna like, ooh, this is like too much for me. I'm gonna slide out of here. If you need to slide through a section or get past a section that's like too steep or kind of scary, instead of doing it on your heels, do it on your toe side. So flop, like flop to your toes if the mountains are here, flop to your toes. Now you have your hands to help you. So as you're, you know, sliding down the mountain, like in a heel slide or toe slide, which, you know, skiers are going to be mad because they're like, you're scraping the snow away. But if it's too difficult for you and you're like, man, I'm, I'm in here, I got to get through it. I'm going to slide through, do it on your toes and use your hands on the mountain. Like, you know, put your hands on the mountain. It's going to be steep enough where like that mountain's going to be right, right here. So hands and feet or on your toes, hands also on the mountain, and, you know, just kind of heel slide your way out. Um, and you won't slip out as easy and fall on your butt and then just boop, if you do slip out and then you fall and you have your hands, you can grab too. A little bit of tips for the steeper stuff. Alex B says, hey, Jonathan, do you consider snowboarding in Europe? Uh, yes, we will travel the world and snowboard. Right now, uh, we uh, have kids. You know, it's it's life's about like chapters or, you know what I'm saying? Things like right now, the, I'm doing the appropriate thing for my life. I'm riding all the resorts in the United States traveling the world and snowboarding and snowboarding will open up. It's going to be awesome when we can do that. I have a, I have a nine month old baby, you know, like Bristol's amazing. I want to be here for my wife and for her in these very young stages. As the kids get older, it will be easier for me to go to Europe for two weeks, you know, uh, still be a little tough on the family, but it'll be easier. You know, like when Ro like Roman doesn't really understand, like why is dad gone for a week on when he's on the East coast and stuff. So, uh, kids are, are the biggest reason why, we're not traveling the world, but also like with the COVID thing, like that's the other big reason because I can't go somewhere, get locked out of my country and then not be home for a month with Bobby having two kids, you know, like she'd kill me. Cindy, thank you for 11 months as a member. Let's go. Yo, long time no see. I know how you been. Um, been working a lot lately. Haven't been able to watch, uh, been missing this. How, how's Roman? And the fam, you should bring Roman in. Oh, dude, Roman goes crazy. He's also sleeping. He's literally on the other side of this wall. Um, racked out. He uh he had a he had a very 
had a very adventurous day today. You know, we did a lot. So that little dude uh, is passed out, sleeping. So I can't bring him in. But Rome's doing great. He did his uh, first lesson. Yesterday, I was like changing Bristol's butt. And he walked up. He goes, Dad, you know, to stop on a snowboard, you do this. And he like leaned back and picked up his toes. I was like, yeah, dude, that is how you stop on a snowboard. So he's figuring it out. I'm probably going to do one more lesson for him this season uh, before it's over. And before I do, we're going to be out of here before we know it. We're going to be in Alaska in seven days, which is nuts. We're going to be snowboarding in Alaska. <sighs> we come back from Alaska. Two weeks, we're leaving. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for that. I don't even know who's going to fulfill sticker orders while I'm gone. Oh, I'm going to be gone for a while, too. So, like, I really do got to figure out two and a half months who's going to fulfill the sticker orders. Uh, so, if you place a one, put your sticker order in now. If uh, if you want to grab an evolution sticker, I'll, I'll throw you a link for the evolution stickers. Evolution stickers, windbreakers, get that right now if you want it. Because um, in a month, we're going to be out of here. And uh, I might just have to fulfill them late. I might have to see if my brother can come up and fulfill them for me. We're, 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 uh, we're behind in the orders. Not behind. We're like drained like in our stickers too. We're hiring um, a kid literally for fulfillment next year. His job is just going to be fulfilling orders, make, making stickers, like make sure we're in stocked on everything. And then if that's all like up, like good to go, he's going to help with other things. Um, but like his like fulfillment, like I said, I'm trying to bring on more product too. So if we bring in more product, I want to go away from Teespring, um, all kinds of stuff. So if we can do more, then hiring him makes more sense, you know, so. Stickers, stickers in themselves, though, is a full-time gig, man. We just figured out how to print the envelopes too. Like that was a game changer. Rob Rogers, you're insane, man. The pink comment, you know that's a 50 bomb. What's up, Rog? Uh, Rob, I'm gonna say Rog. Rob Rogers, dude, thanks for the $50 donation. My dude, I'm trying to come to summer camp next year. Much, uh, next year, much bro to you and your awesome family. Dude, Rob, thank you for the $50 donation. Dude, I hope you come next season to camp. I know you put in the work this year, taking the kids out, you going out, tons of days out in North Carolina. So um, keep keep progressing, man. And then yeah, come camp and we'll, we're gonna teach you so much, man. You're gonna have the time of your life. Thanks for the $50 donation, man. And uh, it gets me so hyped that you guys wanna come out to camp. Oh, he's here. <laughs> uh, on Venmo. He says, favorite time of the week, cannot wait for camp. Alex, not only signed up for camp, not only went off last week, dude just dropped a $100 donation. Alex, man, thank you so much for signing up for camp, for dropping another $100 dono, my dude. I'm so stoked to meet you at camp, man. Um, meet everyone that signed up for camp. It's my favorite time. Jono, how we doing, man? I think it's good morning to you. Have you ever broken a snowboard? Easton, yeah, I break snowboards all the time. And it depends on like what you think break. I haven't like snapped a tail, but like blown on edges or just popped them or like used them so much that they get like noodly and they're like not what they used to be. Yeah, that we've done we've done all of that. But I've never like gapped and like snapped it in half. Um no. Trying to find like a good question. I'm trying to keep up the chat. We got 56 people here. It's 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 flowing, you know. But uh sometimes like it's like I'm like reading the chat and then you guys are like talking to each other and stuff like that. It's like, oh, that's sick. I love that you guys like also have a like a conversation in the chat. The other thing that's sick is the amount of people that have like linked up and like I created shred friends because of the channel, like which is like the sickest thing to me too. So um keep doing that, guys. It's this is the strongest snowboard and ski community on the internet. When are you going to go to Aspen Snowmass? Probably next season. Uh, we're going to get the full-blown icon. We bailed on it this year because we didn't have full-blown icon, and I just didn't feel like trying to communicate with Aspen to get the the passes and all that stuff. It gets harder. The bigger the resort, the harder it is to get the day pass. So um, 
We've had we had probably like a ninety five percent got free passes for resorts we didn't have a season pass to this year, which is which is insane. And it's so awesome that these resorts hook us up with tickets and to have us come out and stuff. So shout out to all of the resorts that hooked us up with tickets this year. Davis, dude, heck yeah, I'll check that out. Alex says, uh, would love to have an evolution snowboard also. Oh, dude, I'm working on it, working on the, the snowboard. Hopefully we can get that figured out. Um, obviously that's the dream is to have a pro model board, board that I love riding, period. I, I would say right now I'm still kind of in between of like snowboards. Like I, I've, I've got, like I know I love the thruster for like all mountain riding. It's sick, it's fun. But like for park riding, I just haven't found a board that I'm like, this is it. So we need to uh, keep looking. Will we be able to get stickers next year? Of course we'll be able to get stickers next year. Pfft, stickers aren't going nowhere. Stickers stickers are a staple of the channel, you know? Stickers run the snowboard industry, is what a wise man once told me. Chris says, just send me a box of stickers and envelopes. I'll do the stickers orders for you. Chris, as simple as that sounds, you would run out immediately it's it's insane it is insane i think cody like was like yeah we're good and then also we're like yo dude we're not good like we thought we were good we weren't good also like it's not the shipping the stickers which is the hardest um i mean it was a little tricky it's the making of the sticker um we got the sticker machine which is sick you know we got all the custom vinyls. It's awesome to be able to make a custom sticker whenever we want. But um, the weeding it, you know, turning them into stickers, very, very time consuming. Oh, yeah, I can't wait until the season starts back up here because my baby girl is going out there with me. Let's go, Rob. That's awesome. What days are my coming again? Rick, uh, are you talking about to the to the West Coast? We will be out uh, in Oregon June 1st through July 15th-ish. I think Bobby said, yeah. Bobby's like, I don't want to spend my whole summer in Oregon. I was like, fair enough. She said, unless I buy her a house in Oregon. I'm like, I got to buy a house in Colorado first, man. I got to buy that girl two houses. I want the blue camo sticker. I'm gonna buy it soon. Yeah, the the snow camo. We have camo stickers. We have electric stickers. We have fire stickers. Man, we got so many cool designs. Brendan, what snowboard I recommend to buy? It's a very broad term because snowboards do different things depending on what you want it to do. Uh, I would just say pick your favorite brand and then pick the board for what type of ride you want to do. Do you want to do big mountain? That brand has a big mountain board. You want to do park? That brand has a uh, a park specific board you know do you like a stiff snowboard do you like a soft snowboard so those are kind of questions you need to ask yourself when you're buying a snowboard like what do i want out of a snowboard so yeah uh rz fitness tv says we got signed up for camp today gonna be dreaming heck yeah i think i got you down for um i wrote it down i wrote it down And I can't remember. I think you said two or one, week one or two. It's 50%. I'm giving up. Uh, Matt R.I., man, thank you so much for the, the love to the family. I'd be nothing without those guys. They drive me, you know. Got to support the fam. Joseph says, I want the park sign board you used to have. That was sick. Should I, when I release my first ever pro model, should I go back to the park board? You know, I, people loved that snowboard. You know, I thought it was a really cool design. Um, I always, like, in my head, I'm like, oh, I'm going to re-release that to the public. Like, should we do the park? specific or should I come out with a whole new design and I had a whole design board get 
um, done by my buddy Sean Oz. He crushed the design. But I don't know if that board would sell as well as the board. And doesn't really have my logo on it is why. I don't think it would sell as well as like a park board. I'd buy that in a heartbeat. Good people draw good people. That's what makes Team Hug Gals great. Heck yeah, Jason. I agree with that for sure. Addition, I'd recommend Rome Stall Crawlers for Gray All Mountain Park Board. It's Stalley Sandbex Pro Model, but he rides it in competitions for park. Ah, oh, see? I have Stalley's old Pro Model on the wall because I won it in a competition. It just came in a 156, which is a big snowboard for me. Should uh, check out some in Montana, discover a lot of insane double blacks in my personal hill. Uh, showdown is just a chill place to ride. I can't wait to go to Montana. Uh, we'll, we're going to look at the resort map, you know, and we're going to really focus on what we need to hit. Virginia, I think for next season is a big one. Uh, we'll probably do two or three trips to the East Coast next season. One of them will be, I would love to go back to North Carolina uh, back up, meet up with Chris Andrews, who's in the chat, um, and ride the bottom part of North Carolina, the four remaining. Also, there's one in Alabama that we'll have to knock out. Um, so I think that whole trip depends on if the Alabama resort is open, um, if we're going to do the North Carolina trip, but I'd love to, I'd love to just knock it off, get off the list. You know, we finished our first ever resort or our first ever state, which was huge. Oh my goodness. I just, I forgot to check Venmo. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to finish my thought and then I'm going to go, we're going to talk about Venmo for a second. You guys are nuts. I wasn't ready for that, but we, we rode, uh, we finished New Mexico, which is our first state completed. I wish Colorado was completed, but it is a little tricky in a lot of ways to ride all the, like the bottom left part of Colorado is so hard to get to. All right. <clears throat> Resortskeymaps.com. Check out resort, the resort map. Um, you know, we'll, we'll make a Midwest trip still. We probably got to ride more in Michigan. Michigan's dope. We're crushing Wisconsin. Um, got to get back out into Minnesota. There's so many resorts in the Midwest. So, and Midwest is my favorite place to ride. Um, I have a plan for this, like, we have so many, like, this is the, the way we got to do that. I'm, I'm just, like, mumbling right now because there's so oh, there's so much we got to do. It's all, and then there's, like, all the South Dakota one, like, North Dakota, South Dakota, like, the, like, hanging fruit. We need an airplane is what we need to get some of these smaller ones. So if anyone, I need, I need to write Melissa. She had a plane. Like, yo, Melissa, we got to we gotta fly to some of these places. All right. So on Venmo. I wasn't paying attention. You guys just dropping hammers. Alex was like, yo, $100 was not enough. I'm dropping another hundred. So he dropped $200 on this live stream. He said, order an evolution sticker for my um, super motos. We'll tag you when I get them. Alex, heck yeah, dude. I just shipped a bunch of sticker orders today. Some of the colors I was out of. So if your order didn't get shipped today, I will, I got to weed those stickers. So Alex, man, thank you for $200 in donations, dude. You're insane, Alex. I really appreciate you, man. And then, of course, Jason uh, says with a Jason also like, yo, I got to get on this hundred dollar chain. So Jason Hotch, Hotchkiss having a hundred dollar donation says nothing really to say except thank you. No, Jason. Thank you, brother. Thank you for the hundred dollar donation. Last year when we were in Hood, Jason took the entire family out to uh, a really nice seafood dinner. It was like it was really nice. It was the best seafood I've ever had, Jason. So thank you so much, man, for the hundred dollar donation. You guys are you guys are popping off. These are insane. So uh, thank you so much, guys, for... I, I literally am not here without you. I'm not in this house. I probably wouldn't... I would, I would not still be in Summit County um, snowboarding if it wasn't for you guys. Like, I was at a crossroad in my life where I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta make more money because it's time for me to have a family and me and Bobby to, you know, like, got married. We had Roman. Now we have Bristol. Like, we, we need to have kids. I need to do something where I could support my family, but still have my passion. And, you know, and like to be able to do what I do, it's almost impossible unless 
it is your full-time job. So I quit my job, not making the money. And you guys were like, we got you, bro. And I'm here because of you. And that's why I like posting a video every single day. You deserve it. Like, I don't do that for me. I post it for you guys because you guys deserve that 10 to 15 minutes of escape every single day because I'm not here without you. So I can't say thank you enough. Um, and if, if you guys are wondering, because we usually get that question, this question every live stream and I don't see it or forget to answer it. Every video we post, it probably, it takes about four hours of filming. So four hours of snowboarding and filming, which we're going to do anyways. We love snowboarding. And then we got to export it and get it on the computer, which is probably like another hour and a half. So let's just say six hours there. And then we edit it, which I would say a safe bet for an edit is four hours. So we have four hours in editing, which is 10. And then we, between like thumbnail, uploading it, getting it ready to put, uh, go on YouTube, we're about, about 11 hours every video that you guys watch. So when you watch them, it means the world to me and to Cody because Cody's been editing so many of the videos. We put about 11 hours or more in every single video we post. Um, and so I really, really stoked you guys do love the videos. And um, yeah, that's all. We have not been to Granby yet. Go to go to Buckhouse or go to resortskimaps.com to see if we've been there. If you go to that map, you'd see we have not been to Granby Ranch yet, but we will. I, I called them. The reason why we haven't gone, I called them. I left a message asking for media passes and they never hit me back. Um, so I could have done the like where we show up thing. Are they still open? If they're still open, we can go. Like this week, I'm sure it'd be sick. I mean, I'm gonna I'm gonna search that because I wanted to ride it this year. Where ski Toyota Clogger 1945. Don't worry, man. You can go back and listen to it as a podcast or just keep watching, man. We're, we're gonna, we still have a lot more of this live stream left. I go live for two hours in the winter. When we do go to two live streams uh, a week in the summer, we cut them down to about an hour. Sometimes we go a little longer, but we'll be going live from the camper a lot. So I'll have like Bristol and Roman and my wife in the camper with me. It gets a little rowdy. You know, it's, it's not as like formal as these live streams. Uh, but there's still the summer live streams are great. Once again, it's the best time to connect with you guys as well. Um, because there's just less people on the live stream. So I can talk to you guys more, get to answer more of your questions. Uh, Kelly, we do want to go to Pennsylvania. We wanted to go this year. Something popped up. We had to change our plans, you know, like certain business decisions have to be made. Um, and so that's why we had to shorten the week on the East, which means we had to leave Pennsylvania. Cause the thing with the Pennsylvania trip is we're doing like a whole loop. We need, we need nine days to ride what we want to ride in Pennsylvania. And so that's why we had to kind of change it. And also Pennsylvania got like no snow this year, which also made it hard. Cause we didn't want to show up and just ride like crud. But I, if you guys saw me sipping on gamer sup, this is my energy drink sponsorship. If you guys, Need an energy drink? You're sick of drinking Monsters, Red Bulls. This is a water-infused energy drink. You know, get your fresh glass of water. You put a scoop of this in. There's 100 milligrams per scoop. This one is called Avocado Gamer Fart 9000. It's like a specific streamer's um, flavor. It tastes like Baja Blast. It's so good. A bunch of you guys have been grabbing Gamer Sup, so thank you so much for uh, supporting these guys who support me. Whenever you get Gamer Sup, you... Uh, you know, it supports the channel. I get a kickback with my affiliate link. If you want to try it, you're like on the fence. You're like, that sounds crazy. I mean, they have a bunch of uh, great flavors like this. Uh, pineapple Colada is really good. They have Blue Rat. They have literally like hundreds of flavors. Um, they have like a Pina Colada flavor. That's really awesome. But uh, these are the trial packs. You can get the trial packs for free. You just got to pay for the shipping. So it's like a couple bucks. Get get some trial packs. Taste it. See if you like it. And then um, get the big, big boys, you know. Um, you get a little caffeine in your life. Like I said, every edit takes about, I mean, like search is not working. Um, every edit takes about 11 hours and I 
do a lot of that work when my kids are sleeping or my wife is sleeping. Like after this live stream at 10, I'll probably stay up till two in the morning. I have so much work to do between figuring out everything with camp, between getting two edit, three edits done tonight, half, two of them are halfway edited. Um, Cause we're trying to get ahead for when we go to Alaska and stuff. So uh, with that being said, you need some caffeine. So yeah, Gamer Stuff, all my sponsors, Christie Sports, Pearl Wax, Buck 15, save yourself money on snowboard wax. Outdoor Master, who I'm meeting up with tomorrow. They are all linked in the description. And the cool thing right now, so like Cody is like doing so many, like Cody is like on par. Like I, I reviewed, he did the Monarch edit um, that's gonna be posting in a couple of days. I reviewed it today, cause I, I review every one that he does. And I watched it. I think I made like two touches to the edit. Like the dude is like, he's matching my style perfectly, but putting enough of his spin in it. Like the vlogs are awesome with Cody editing them. And the cool thing is like, we're like, yo, we're going to Alaska for six days. Like, let's get ahead. So when we're in Alaska, like we'll still edit a little bit. We'll still do some work. But like when the guys are hanging out, we can be there and hang out with the dudes. It's going to be sick. And so he's making an edit every night. I'm making an edit every night, which is a lot of work. And shout out to Cody. Like, Cody has saved my butt this season. And once again, like, that's my number two, um, the slush badger. So, like, it's so sick knowing that, like, last night he got an edit done. Tomorrow I'll review another edit. He's got, we got him stacked with clips. We're still, like, six or seven days ahead in videos right now. And tomorrow I think I'm going to, we might come out and film, like, two videos Oh, dude, Snowboard Al is here. Dude, love Snowboard Al. He came to camp last year. Al's the man. We met up with him um, in the Midwest. And it's Alex, dude, get out of here. He took the, uh, you did take the uh, crown of the highest donation. Again, with that $100 donation, Alex, he's now dropped $300 uh, on this live stream with a heart. You're a madman, Alex. You're a man, man. <laughs> you guys are killing me. Thank you so much. Um, like you said, the other thing that's really cool that we're going to be doing this summer, because a lot of people are like, what do you guys do in the summer? Like, obviously, we're going to snowboard till like July, uh, halfway through July. Then snowboarding, like, we're still going to do it occasionally, but it's going to be a lot harder to snowboard all the time because we're either going to hike to it or drive to the bowls um, or travel to like big snow. But and Chris, I don't know if you know this, but I got all of the wakeboard stuff. I got a whole wakeboard set up from the wakeboard to the bindings, to the boot, to the vest. Like we are kitted out with our own gear for wakeboarding so we can do wake tours and I don't have to get rental gear at every wake park we show up. And um, your boys can try and like get good at wakeboarding, which is very similar to snowboarding. I've done it, I think two or three times I've gone wakeboarding. And it's, it is so similar to snowboarding that I think it's going to help the snowboarding to wakeboard in the summer. So, uh, we're also, and you'd have to talk to dark, dark, if you're still in the chat about it, but we have a plan to do a wakeboard kind of like how we do like on the East coast, like a little like trip where we like hit all these spots. Like we're going to go on a wakeboard trip in Texas and hit a bunch of wakeboarding spots. So all the Texas people out there, if you're into wakeboarding, you like cable parks, um, we're coming your way. Also mountain ba biking, of course, just my mountain biking. So terrifying. I'm going to do it. I love it. It's fun. I do have a good time out on the mountain bike. I'm probably going to get like shoulder pads or like, I got to get like elbow pads and knee pads. Like you get tossed on a mountain bike. It hurts. I do not want to get tossed. Uh, Monster Jack, I really appreciate that, man. I've put a lot of effort into my snowboarding. I am not a skilled, I'm not a talented snowboarder. I'm, I've worked really hard to have the skill that I do have, and I go out every day and continue to work on my skill because I want to be the best snowboarder I can possibly be for myself and then take what I've learned and share it with you guys. Uh, do you or any one you know wear any pads during snowboarding i wear crash pants i'll, I'll grab them it's 
So obviously the most important pad you can wear while snowboarding is a helmet. So wear a helmet when you snowboard, that's gonna protect your head. And then I wear these, these are crash pants. Um, so like there's a huge butt uh, pad that protects my tailbone. I got these that protect, protect under my butt cheek. The worst part about hitting that rock that turned my whole butt um, purple is I hit the rock like right here, like right up, uh, in between these pads. So I didn't get the protection from the pad. Um, and my butt is still rocked from that. And that's like the tough thing too is like, man, like we're going to Crested Butte and we're ripping and the whole time and like people that don't like people that aren't up to date on the channel or people that like that video is going to live forever. So in like two years, someone's going to see that. They're not going to realize that my whole left butt cheek is a bruise right now. Like even to this day, the color the discoloring is going away, but I still got the lumps and the, like it's still tender. And so like falling on my butt hurts so bad, but I'm still out there trying to send it my highest ability. But like, there is a little bit of like, oh, don't fall on your butt. You know, you're holding back just a little bit. Um, I hate that sometimes. You know, I just want to, I always want to be a hundred percent. I just, I'm just so stoked that we put in the time and the energy and worked so hard in the off season on my knee and my knee's feeling great. And we just got to get back. Now that things are slowing down too. And like springtime is nice because you spend, you go out a little less. Um, you don't have to show up like the line, there's not as many lines. So you, so you don't have to show up as early to like get parking and stuff. And then you kind of want to show up when the snow is melted and everything. So you kind of ride in the afternoon. So I'm going to get more time to get those like morning routines of stretching and working out again. I like, can't wait to get back into that, uh, to just leave for two and a half months. It's a big time to disappear. But, uh, dude, Austin with the, his notorious $2 donation. Austin, man, thank you so much for the $2 super chat, my dude. Oh, and then Jurangic dropped a $25 donation on Streamlabs. Jurangic, man, so stoked you're coming to camp. Make another Michigan trip next season. Where are we going, Jurangic? You pick. You pick in Michigan where we're riding. I can't go back to the where we've gone, you know. Um, Alpine, Brighton, Pine Knob, which, dude, the, the Michigan trip might be like on the top of like my favorite trip, trip from this season. That was so fun. Once again, that was a strike mission. We hit it. We nailed it. Um, but we, we, we could fly. I don't know where to fly into. Is, is Mid, Midland a big area? Like I need another airport in Michigan that's kind of towards the upper peninsula. Because we flew into Detroit and rode all those. Flying to Milwaukee, take the ferry across. Ride uh mulligans consberg timber ridge bittersweet i heard bittersweet's a big one people ask me to go to we'll get there we're gonna ride them bro you love michigan but haven't been to bohemia fly into hoogton Hog ogden ogden that's how you say that ogden where's ogden Um, yeah, dude, Bohem I hear Bohemia is insane. Yeah, there's Ogden right there. Okay. That's at the very top of Michigan. Um, we'll get there. We're going to get there. I hear Bohemia gets insane snow. They don't even make snow there. I heard Marquette airport. Kelly says. Michigan's a little harder than so let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's like our our Wisconsin trip, we have twelve resorts to hit. Hit some Minnesota ones on the way out. And it's hard. We're gonna have to do some like some big drives. Sometimes I look at I, I think of the like man, we made the gold ride resort in the United States. How dumb was that? I had no idea. <laughs> but it's sick too. I've met so many of you guys, and it's so awesome. And like going to your places to ride. 
But man, having kids and making that goal. I, Bobby hates me. She really does hate me. <laughs> In a good way. She's like, man, why couldn't you just been like a UPS driver? <laughs> oh. Snowboard Antarctica, I'm going for the same price as your snowboard camp. Dude, can you snowboard in Antarctica? That'd be crazy. I'd love to snowboard a glacier. Like a legit, like, you gotta, like, drive a boat to it and, like, get, or get dropped off on the house. Like, that would be the sickest thing. That's, like, a Red Bull dream of mine. Get on a glacier. Snowboard it. Uh, Ray West says, your videos really helped me learn a lot this season. I was struggling with transitioning from heel to toe, but cleaned it up a bit. Wish I had more time, but the season's pretty much over. Dude, Ray West, I'm sorry, man. Next year, summer camp is another way to extend your season out in Mount Hood. It's a week of, it's five days of shredding. It's a week-long camp. Um, think about that for next season, man. Stoked that you got your heels to toes. Keep ripping. Can you hit the pipe at Keystone? Tristan, we went to ride it the other day, and... Like, pipes are supposed to be icy, but it was, like, very icy. I like it. My park board doesn't have very sharp edges, and I don't have any forward lane, which helps in the pipe. So when I go into an icy pipe, it's really hard for me to air out and stuff because it's just, I slip. Um, so that's what happened when I rode Keystone um, pipe the other day. And so um, if we're, the next couple of days we're at Keystone, if it gets really warm and the pipe gets slushy, we'll definitely get in the pipe and ride some slushy. I like slushy pipe. They're filled with crevasses. Oh, the icebergs? We'll, we'll jump the crevasses. Oh, we'll hit Big Sky. Does Mount Hood stay open all summer and winter? They try to stay open as long as I can. They usually open in November, and they were open till August 15th last year. I was there for closing day. They sometimes can make it to September, but um, they're always, I think they're pretty sure, like, pretty sure they're always closed in October, and they reopen in November, pretty sure. Joe says, that, that channel goal is what separates your channel from everyone else's. It gives a purpose to every video. Joe Dallas, man, that means a lot because that is another, I say that all the time, like you should subscribe to my channel because we're doing this and I want you guys to be a part of it. I want you guys to see it. I would not be here uh, without you guys. Rick says a 20 foot air across the crevasse. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Dude. You got it. Alex, dude, you can't keep doing this to me, man. <laughs> oh, Alex, my man. I like, I mean, gotta stop sitting on my legs. I know this is horrible for my legs, but I just feel like I want to be closer to the camera. And I, let me see. I know it's somewhere. I have, a, well, my chair is as high as it gets. I'm just a short person. Alex dropped another $100 Venmo donation, my dude. $400 on this live stream. You're an animal. Dude, Rob Rogers did that a couple live streams ago. Rob, you're an animal too, but Alex, dude, what? He says, I was going to ask how the butt cheek was. I, I would show you guys, but I want to, I, I can't risk my channel getting flagged for showing skin. Um, the butt is, uh, it's better. I went to A Basin today, Nick. I don't think we're going to go back to A Basin. Like I said, it's just park. As long as it's sunny day, we're going to go to Keystone. We're going to ride the park. I want to be familiar with the park and I want to try and get some tricks.
I hit my first successful backside board slide like two days ago at the end of the season. It was all thanks to you. Yes, Rob, backside board slide, dude. That's huge. I'm sure you're like hyped now to learn more. It's so fun once you start learning park tricks and the park riding will definitely help out like your, your main riding. So do keep setting the park. Um, like park riding feeds your mountain riding, your mountain riding feeds your park riding. As a snowboarder, I encourage you to do it all. You know, I have mountain days and I have park days and they help me overall be a better snowboarder. It's very, very important to do them all. I uh, got any tips for snowboarding you or you got any tips for snowboarding YouTube, bro? I'm planning on it next season. Like Tristan, like starting a snowboard YouTube channel. I would, what I'd encourage anyone starting a snowboard YouTube channel, I actually like, I'll probably make the video in the summer, but I was going to make a, a video titled like, maybe like don't make a snowboard YouTube channel or like the, the lulls of a snowboard YouTube channel. Um, I posted my analytics on Instagram the other day, but just like I'm sure anyone in the snowboard industry experiences this, you have from December to February. That's it of like channel growth, the views of everything. And then it dies down period. Like there's 60 people right now, give it another month. And I think all like, we'll probably be like 30 people every live stream throughout the summer. I hope it's 60. I hope all 60 of you guys stick around, but people, they stop thinking about skiing and snowboarding, you know, like they got, they start thinking about mountain biking or summer stuff or the beach, you know, their mind isn't on it. Or like all the tourists that go on a week long trip, like they're not searching videos or, or things like that. So that's one reason why we hit it so hard in the winter. And that's another reason why I keep, I, I don't know, I, I just, I go even harder in the summer, I feel like sometimes, even when people aren't watching. So if you are going to make a snowboard YouTube channel, keep posting in the summertime, because even when no one's watching. And the tough thing is like when you start making YouTube content in the beginning, no one's going to watch in the first place. You know, you got to make it for yourself. I, the way I started the channel is my little brother was like, yo, let's do this together. And I was like, well, I'll do it. And the worst case scenario is I will just have a bunch of awesome videos with my brother. So I did it for the fact that me and my brother can always go back and look at the first season we rode together when he moved up here and watch the videos and laugh about the days or the experiences that we had. And that's why I started my channel. And then it turned into what we have. So one, what are you in it for? You know, what's your why? Why are you doing it? The reason why I continued the YouTube channel is when I was a young adult. My dad was in a, I missed like five years of my childhood and other adults stepped in that were snowboarders and took me snowboarding. And I highly looked up to them and I was like, dude, when I grow up, I want to be a snowboarder. And I had that ingrained in my head. And then I did that first season with my brother. And then I realized that those dudes to me, the guys that I looked up to that I was like, yo, I want to be like him. Like he's a sick snowboarder. He's an awesome person. Like the person that I looked up to, I became that person to thousands of other kids and adults out there. And now that I have a, a family, you know, like I'm that to other dads and, and, and husbands. And so I can be a good influence, a good role model to all of them. That's my why. That's why I do this. That's why I continue to do it with a little bit of sleep, you know, ups and downs emotionally. You know you know how lame it is that people make memes about you talking about how much you suck at something? Like most, it was nice back in the day when no one roasted you. I get roasted on a daily, which is fine. You know, I got thick skin. I don't care. But when your views are tanking because that's the end of the season, you're getting memes about you. You know, it's, it's impossible to say some of that doesn't get through. But at the end of the day, my why is why I continue and I can get over, you know, all the trash talking. You're not a pro. You suck. Um, and things like that. So what are you in it for? And then the biggest thing, and this will be my final topic on this one topic. If you're going to start a snowboard YouTube channel, get good at snowboarding first. I, a lot of people like, yo, I want to start a snowboard YouTube channel and they can't even 50-50 a rail. It is not going to help you with your channel if you're not good at snowboarding. Go out and get better at snowboarding first and then start the channel before I made a YouTube video, I got good at snowboarding. And so when I made a YouTube video, people one watched because it was enjoyable, it was things that they couldn't do or they felt it was like attainable that they could get to. Two, I now, when I say something, people 
believe what I'm saying because I can also back it up with ability. You know, if I'm like, yo, this is how you should ride steep terrain. They go, okay, like he's doing it. I believe him. Um, and then the other reason why I said one thing, I would say one more thing too. Make videos and no one's going to watch and that's fine. And this is for anything with YouTube. Make videos, no one's going to watch, that's fine. Make another video, make another video. Because even though no one's watching, you're getting better at the craft. You're getting better at editing. You're getting better at, um, you know, just the process of it. Like, you're going to suck at editing. Like, your first videos are going to be your worst videos. And then you're going to get better as you go. And no matter, every single YouTuber, their first content was not as good as their current content. You get better. Every human gets better at what they do. You know, like, I'm a better writer than I was. I'm a better editor than I was. I'm a better businessman. I'm better at these live streams than I was because I'm doing it. So, boom. All right, we got some donations and chats and oh my goodness. All right, we're going to go in order real quick. Rick Kenzer, 14 months, my man. Thank you so much for being uh, a member for 14 months, man. He says, what do you think of the bomb hole and when are you going to chat with them? <laughs> I think the bomb hole is sick. I think snowboarding needed a podcast and I think uh, Stony Buds and Chris were the right people for that. You know, they're already solidified in the industry so they can get all the big name pros and everyone up um, in the industry to show up. Uh, and I think it's sick for snowboarding. I think I'm learning a lot about the snowboard industry from the bomb hole. Um, and, you know, I'd love to get on there and chat with them. It'd be sick. You know, I'm doing something different in snowboarding. Um, but that's up to them. You know, it's their thing. It's whenever they, they, uh, they want to bring, whenever they want to bring Team Huckhouse on, I'm going to represent us guys. Uh, even all the hashtag ski gangs out there. And then uh, Kelly, thank you so much for the $20 donation. You didn't say anything. You just dropped $20, Kelly. I really appreciate you so much. Thanks for the $20 dono. You're becoming a regular on the live streams too, which is super awesome. And then CTRL alt degree digress with a $10 donation, man. Thank you so much. He says, keep persevering, Jonathan. I think you will stand the test of time in the snowboard community. I 100% agree with that um, for one reason or for one main reason. And it's because I'm still, I've still, did stand the test of time in a lot of ways because I've lived up in Summit County for 13 years. I've been up in the mountain town snowboarding for 13 years. You know how many snowboarders that are one, definitely better than me, have come, snowboarded for two or three years and then left because they had to get a big boy job or they had to grow up or they got a girlfriend or, you know, like life happens or they get injured and they got to stop snowboarding. You know how many of those dudes I've seen come in and out in 13 years? So many. They're like, the sickest dudes, like the the core, like uh, you know, top dogs in the um, Summit County. You know what I'm saying? Like, show up to the local resort. Like Keystone had like these are the five best snowboarders that show up at Keystone. Over none of those dudes are there anymore. They're gone. They're working jobs or they got hurt or whatever. So I've stood stood the stood the test of time in that alone. And now with YouTube, it's like yo, I'm all in in so many ways in the fact that like. I love entrepreneurship and this is like the ultimate entrepreneurship thing. You know, I can do whatever I want through the community that we're building, which is super cool. Like the fact that we're sold out of camp is like the sickest thing being an entrepreneur and then being able to like meet you guys and shred with you guys. And like, that's awesome. I have major goals. I, I've loved snowboarding my entire life and to be, to become one of the biggest in ambassadors of the sport that I love the most is awesome. I'm shaping snowboarding, in a way that I love, you know, like, um, so yeah, dude, we're, we're not, we're not going nowhere. Um, that was a lot that I just said, guys, <laughs> thank you for just listening. The chat slowed down. Everyone's just like, Whoa, he's going off. Buckhouse is ranting. Um, but, oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, before I get to that, Alex, <laughs> uh, I just, um, I really do appreciate you guys, like everyone here. I appreciate that, like, th this this thing has changed my life. You know, I uh, NF is one of my favorite rappers, and he has a line that says, used to be employee, now employer. The fact that, like, I have Cody, and we're going to hire more people, and this thing is literally turning into a legit business absolutely blows my mind. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm very thankful. I'm like, I'm extremely thankful to be in this position, you know. 
thankful, driven. The, the the I can I could search for words endlessly, but um, yeah. All right, Alex, I'm gonna get to it. I want I want to for the sake of the chat, Alex. Uh, give me give me a second. <laughs> Ah! All right, Rob says, uh, bro, I'm I'm here till the till you decide to stop making videos. I'm not going anywhere. One of my biggest fans, my dude, Rob. You really are, man. I really appreciate you, Rob. I love how hard you hit it this season. That made me I I can tell you love the sport as much as I do, dude. I love that. Dip dog, appreciate it. Alex says, uh professional simply means you can do it for a living off of whatever it is that you do. So while you may not be Zeb Pal, you're making a living doing what you love. To me, that's real professional. Alex, man, I appreciate the words so much. Sorry, so we're at 45. Any tips to overcome fear and speed of getting hurt? Um, the biggest tip for overcoming fear is to say you're afraid of doing a jump. Well, instead of just going and hitting the jump, get used to the jump. So one on runs, you know, try and get your ollies on rollers. You want to hit side hits. Then when you want to hit that jump, go past the jump, you know, go look at it, go see how big it really is. Stand there and watch people hit the jump and see how fast they're going. Then maybe go and jump the roller of the, the, the jump so you can see how the landing is, how steep is the landing, how does it feel? So then when you do hit the jump, that fear is instead of being this much afraid, you're only going to be this much afraid. The biggest thing though, um, is no matter what, when you, in action sports, this is from skating to, to skiing, wakeboarding, underwater basket weaving, any extreme sport, you are always going to have fear. And it's trying to limit the fear as much as you can so when you do go and throw it, you can overcome that fear and come out on the other side, not hurt, not injured, you know, winning. You know, I would be a liar if I said every time I hit a big jump, I wasn't afraid. Every time I'm like, Ugh. But I can overcome the fear because I've practiced repetition, familiarity, things like that. So, uh, recycled snowboarding. I do have a wife and I have a kid. Two kids. I have two kids. I have a wife and two kids. All right, Alex. Here we go. <sighs> Alex is like, you know, dude, you know, 100 is not enough. We got to go 200. And he's like, no, 200 is not enough. We got 300. It's like, nah, dude, $300 in the live stream, that's not enough. We gotta go, we gotta go $400 in a live stream. And he goes, you know what? Instead of going $400, let's just go with a $500 don $500 donation. $500, he's dropped $900 on this live stream. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I would love to be a moderator or whatever I could do to help the channel streams, whatever, name it. Uh, love to help you succeed, bro. Alex, dude, one, $500 donation. Oh, insane. And dude, you've been showing up a bunch and supporting. And um, if you want to be a moderator, my dude, we were, we'll definitely turn you into mod. Moderators are important to the channel. I don't even think we have a moderator in the chat right now. So, um, especially during like mid season when there's like 200 people on a live stream, moderators save the day. Cause I can't read every chat in those. I can get pretty close when there's 60 people, but, uh, Alex, my dude, oh my goodness. He's a teehee. <laughs> I think I know where that teehee came from. Kate, by the way, I didn't get to say hi. How you doing, Kate? As well as uh, Joe, uh, Joe Shin, all of the, the members. You guys are incredible. If you guys are wondering how people... Oh, there's the mods. We got Trevor and Nathan. They're like, yo, don't leave us out. Trevor and Nathan are always here. Um, but uh, if you're wondering how... Like, Jason has his name is green. Same thing with Kate. And then they have the logo next to their name. Uh, is because they are members of the channel, which is a monthly donation that supports the dream. I that it is so nice, especially going into the dead season, knowing that every month this much money is coming in, so I know what bills we can pay and and everything like that. So big shout out to all the, the members, as well as 
if you become a member, your logo, you'll start as a monkey and then you'll evolve as the channel evolves. So like Joe Shine is the tall walking dude. Um, but uh, B1980 is the skier, which means he's going to become the snowboarder soon. Uh, do we have any snowboarders in here? But like Rick, Kate, um, they've been supporting for so long that they're full-blown evolution, which is so sick. And we're, Greg, Elsvaldo, who else? Um, someone else is about to become full-blown gold because they've been supporting for almost two years as members from the day one. So if you want to become a member, that's the link for the memberships right there. It's a mouthful for it, but I want, I want people to understand why becoming a member is sick. You also get, I had to look for it, these sick emotes, which we're going to add more emotes this summer. I'll probably pay my brother for that too. You have the Roman Wiggle Wiggle, uh, Chipmunk, Snowboard Map, the Hey You Snowboarder, Snowboarder, and the Full Blown Evolution. Uh, we'll probably make a Slush Badger for Cody. I don't know, we can have, like, I think we can have up to, the amount of emotes we can have depends on the amount of members we have. So the more members we have, the more emotes we can have. So we'll definitely create more emotes. And in the summertime, that's another reason to be on the live streams, because I'll probably ask a bunch of you guys, like, what do you think, what should we do? Um, you know, the emotes are for, for you guys to use in the chat when you're typing and writing. Um, yeah, Kay says, plus, you can do this, and she put all the emotes. <laughs> it's so awesome. Uh, Joseph says, too much, I'll go full-blown evolution. And it's it's kind of a flex, you know? You're like, yo, I've been supporting for this long. Woo! Maybe I got at the... I'm going to have to maybe add another tier for, like, three years since we have people that have been supporting for two years. Uh, when are you getting your daughter on a board? Can't wait to see her shred. I will get Bristol on a snowboard as soon as that little girl can stand up. She's close. She is close to standing. She might get on a snowboard in the summertime at Hood. Or maybe we take her to Big Snow. She might be jumping on a board then. She, uh, she's a sender. She, uh, she, right now, she loves being in water. So pools, bath, hot tub. We do sneak her in the hot tub for a couple minutes because we have one and she sees brother in it and she's like, I gotta get in that thing. So, um, Roman's doing great on his board. And I've said this plenty of times I'm, I'm always gonna say it because i'm not trying to make money off my kids and so like there's a reason why there's not a ton of roman videos because this is my channel for me i love getting roman out there and putting him in the videos he likes making the videos with me occasionally um but i don't like roman videos do they, they are some of my most viewed videos and once again i'm not trying to like oh that video does really well i'm just keep making roman snowboard and all this stuff like i want him to love it i want him to find his own love for it um and I'm in a weird position where it's, you know, it's it, it, that's that's something I'd watch out for. That's why like all of the Roman stickers, all of the Bristol stickers that we have that are going to be coming out, that money goes to their college fund. So, um, yeah, I really want uh, my nephew involved with snowboarding. He is too chicken to try. Did you just want to? Did your kid just want it, or did you push him? I kind of like got him on the board before they had a choice if that makes sense. Roman's four and he does, he is showing signs of like, Ooh, I don't want to do that. I'm scared. I don't want to do that. I'm scared. Well, actually when Roman's on a snowboard, he's kind of like, I want to send it like my dad, which is kind of cool. Um, but I took my nephew Arias this season and he was scared. Like we showed up the mountain. He's like, I'm not doing it. I'm like, yo dude, we already got a rental for you. Like we already bought your ticket. Like you got to go snowboard. And he's like, I don't want to do it. So then I was like, yo, they're like, you don't have to do it, but like, let's get closer. Like when I brought him, I was like, once again, you don't have to do this, but like, like look at all these other kids. And he saw the other kids doing it. And then I think he kind of like got the courage was like, okay, I, I'm going to do this. And so the other thing too, is like, maybe instead of taking them to the mountain for the first time, I don't know where you live, but like get a snowboard, like go rent a snowboard and go to like a sledding hill or something smaller, but like way less pressure than like chair lifts and ticket scanners and everybody else like take him where it's like just you and your nephew and and take him snowboarding and maybe he'll enjoy it more too it's so like when bristol goes snowboarding for the first time it won't be like on a chair lift it'll be like like you can watch i'll, I'll pull it up This is Roman's first time ever snowboarding. We went to the t tiniest little like drainage ditch in my neighborhood at the time 
to take Roman snowboarding. So there's that video. If you want to watch Roman's first time ever snowboarding, like the dude could barely stand out. He's a ba this kid, he's a baby. Um, but we didn't take him to the resort right away. We took him somewhere familiar, or it's not familiar, but somewhere simple. Um, because the other thing too is like a a baby or an infant or anyone that's under like six is not going to want to be on the mountain very long. Like they're going to do a couple couple runs, everything like that, and they're like, oh, I'm good. See ya, Thomas. How we doing, man? Roman is the best shredder of his age. Let's go. I, I, I don't know. There's some, there's, this is, this is the other hard thing is like, Roman's going to be a great snowboarder, but there are definitely some younger snowboarders that are really sick. And it's because their parents are like training them. You know, they go to the mountain and their attention, everything is on the kid. Get better at snowboarding so you can be a pro or you can do this. You know, it's almost like the live vicariously through your kid. The biggest thing with me is I still have so many dreams and and I have a lot that I want to accomplish too. You know what I'm saying? So like it's, I'm going to Alaska for six days. I'm not taking Roman. Like as he gets older, he can go on those trips. But like some parents, every time they go snowboarding, their focus is getting their kids good snowboarding as possible. So there's going to be kids that are going to be like trained. My goal for, for Roman is if he really, like he's going to have every opportunity to go and ride with me. If he really gets into it and he wants to go to a camp, he can go to a camp. If he wants to, co you know what I'm saying? But like, I don't want to be that like football dad that's like extra practicing their kids and like pounding it in their head. Like, you got to do this. You got to, you know, I want him to find his own love. And if he really does love it, I will support it all the way. If he likes music more or if he likes something else more, then I'm going to support him in that. All right. Uh, a lot just happened. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Graham, the second Crested Butte post tomorrow. Uh, do, 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 do. We had uh, Jeremy A became an ambassador. Dude, welcome to Team Hawk House. You just signed up as a member. So you're now the monkey. You get all the emotes that we were talking about. Like, so once again, the, the Roman Wiggle Wiggle, Chipmunk, the map, uh, Snowboarder, blah, 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 blah. And, uh, your name is now green. Your monkey will evolve into the walking person after a month. Then after three months, you'll be the skier. After six months, you'll be the snowboarder. After a year, you'll be full-blown evolution like uh, Jason. And uh, yeah, dude, thank you so much. And then Rick dropped a $50 donation. Rick, you're an animal. Dropped another dono. Said give a Roman sticker away. So. Ba -ba -ba -ba. I'm happy we have some made because we have, <laughs> we have not. We've been running out of Roman stickers, so I have a Roman sticker made. And uh do, 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 do. And we'll give it we'll give this sticker away to someone that doesn't someone that doesn't have an evolution sticker. That's that's the biggest thing with giveaways. But we also have 30 more minutes on this live stream, so we're gonna wait on that as well. I need to check. <laughs> Alex, get out of here, dude. Alex said, Nathan said, I wouldn't. He dropped another $100 Venmo, bringing his total donation on this live stream to $1,000. Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, Nathan? Or not Nathan, Alex? Nathan, you too, dude. You, 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 you talked him into it. Oh, Alex, dude, $1,000 on a... One thousand. You are a true animal, a true legend, Alex. We really do appreciate you. That is probably all the gas we need to get out to. Well, maybe not, because I'm gonna be filling Cody's RV and my rig um, to get us out to. That's gonna be the most expensive part about this summer is the gas going to Mammoth and then to LA, then up to. Tahoe, then to Oregon, and then all the way back. Um, he says, where are you at, Nathan? <laughs> uh, I'm missing a snowboard on my sticker. Oh, Nathan, uh, DM me about that. I got like five stickers. Still got to find a place for some of them. Dude, Al or Thomas, appreciate that. Jubilee, I appreciate it. 
Let's uh, let's get. I I haven't seen Jubilee ever on a live stream. Jubilee, you won the the Roman sticker. If you are under the age of eighteen, ask your parents. But uh, what you need to do is go to my email, which is uh, Jonathan underscore Buckhouse at yahoo.com. It's in the description of this video. Uh, give me your full name, your address, and put the Roman like title or like Roman sticker or sticker winner and put Roman. So Jubilee, you won the Roman sticker. That is coming to you. You just got to email me and I'll get that sticker sent your way. Uh, for real race, I will, it'll be on the resort ski maps.com calendar. And I, uh, If, if we are, do someone else. Okay, Jubilee says they can't win. Okay, that's fine. We'll pick a different winner. How about for... For real race. You now won. So, new winner. Uh, full name, address, and uh, put, like, the Roman sticker. If, you, if your parents are cool with that, I don't know how old you are. Um, but... That's kind of the rule for giveaway. Like, if you're under 18, ask your parents. If you, um, do, 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 do. Yeah. Full name, address, and the sticker that you won. Dude, Alex hooked it up, son. Dude, Alex did extremely hook it up. You're insane. SF skiing, dude, that's, that's, uh, that's our boy. I've been been watching the cat tours and backcountry vids. Damon, man, it's going to be insane. I can't wait to get you into it. Get Damon on some big mountain like Cody's out there. Oh my goodness. Not again, Alex. Give away a windbreaker. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, we have a lot of people that haven't won. All right. We've never given away a windbreaker. Alex, are you kidding me? Alex dropped a $200 donation and said, give away a windbreaker. This live stream just got insane. We got to wait till the last 30 minutes of the chat to give away the windbreaker. 1200 Alex, you're coming close to the all-time donation record, which I mean, technically, if we count what you did last week, you broke it. The most donated in a live stream was $1,500 from Melissa. Um, Alex is quickly approaching that. $200 to give away a windbreaker. Rick, dude, have a good night, man. Appreciate you, dude, and all the donations you dropped this live stream, Rick. You're the man. Hope to see you out this year on the on the west coast due to quantity of sizes we have a large windbreaker that's going to be given away because we have more larges than any other size so it has to be a large so if you are 5'6", 160 pounds, it will fit you perfect. Um, so if you're like a medium-sized human, medium to small, this is a great one for you. If you're a bigger dude, um, might not fit you. So I don't know how we're going to give away the windbreaker, Alex. But we will. You guys know the windbreakers, they're sick. Warmest merch in the game. So we'll give away. Is XL Black still available? I think we're sold at XL Black, but XL Blue and Gold is still available. <laughs> what? He said bet. He did it on Venmo. Alex, you're an animal, dude. <laughs> Are you kidding? Or not Venmo, he did that. He did it on Super Chat. 
Alex and Melissa hold the record for the most donated $1,500 on a live stream. Are you kidding me, my man? <laughs> oh, you make me laugh so hard. Everyone's freaking out. Like, what? What is happening? I know. <laughs> Alex has the record. <laughs> 1502 dollars. Alex, congratulations. Venmo wouldn't let me. <laughs> Over Venmo. <laughs> oh. Everyone give Alex some claps in the chat. What is, what is the clap emoji? I'm gonna even put clap emojis in the chat. Alex, dude. Uh, it's gonna be fun meeting you at camp, man. Your Venmo definitely has its limits. <laughs> Once again, guys, that fifteen hundred and two dollars, it came to me, but it's t it's for you guys. He gave that to you. We're gonna take that money and we're gonna put it back into this channel. We put everything back into the channel. Everything we it's, it costs a lot of money to run this. It costs a lot of money to live where I live. So it goes back into this channel so we can continue to make you guys videos on the daily. Um, and dude, he dropped, he, he said, make sure we give away a nice fancy windbreaker, which is totally gonna happen. Let me put it where you guys can see it. You know, windbreaker, kind of shining in the background. Penela sent, thank you so much. Happy to see you on a live stream. Dude's a god, I wish, Jay had the money to do that for y'all. Dude, Joseph, it's all good, man. Tips for carving. Squirrel, I have a ton of carving tips on my How to Snowboard playlist. The biggest thing with carving, let's see, what would I take? Is to make sure that you're not back foot ruddering. A lot of people think they're carving their snowboard, but their back foot is swinging back and forth. You wanna make sure that you're putting eagle pressure on your feet as you go through the turns. I need to make a video on when to put pressure where in your turn. It's a big deal. So then you know, because it's not, it's not eagle pressure through the whole turn. Like as you initiate the turn, it's more pressure in your front foot. As you're in the middle of the turn, it should be equal pressure on both feet. And as you're leaving the turn, it should be pressure on your back foot and your front foot is now opening up to the next turn. Um, I need to make that video for you guys. We'll uh, hope the mics. So what happened is the, we have the mics, but our mic adapter broke on, for our cameras. So like, there's a lot of components to go into be, getting a microphone to work on a on 360 camera, or just cameras in general. And we have working mics right now. We have a broken mic adapter because I, caught an edge routing switch and broke it. So we're waiting for that to show up. It'll show up on the fourth. And I want to make that how to video with microphones because they make everything better. Snowboard Alice says, windbreaker here, bro. Lincoln says, hey, Jonathan, went back to Winter Park and had the time of my life. The tree riding was sick. Yes, tree riding at Winter Park, the Mary Jane side is insane. Jubilee, you have to stick around. I can honestly say there's Bunch of nights of the week. Uh, yo, just bought some Turing bindings. Now I gotta find the skin. Dude, let's go. Alex, man, I really appreciate you, dude. Uh, I meant to be finishing up an essay due to tomorrow. This live is just crazy. Dude, sorry to make you not get your essay done. It is, the live streams do get insane. Um, Te Tehar, how big are you? And where do you live?
Have you thought about buying lava to lava to wear and put the road wireless goes in? Have you ever thought about buying la la larva to wear and put the road mic in your pocket? Okay, I haven't because the larva. The, the road mic sits, or it, when it, it doesn't fall off often. The one that I did fall, I have no idea. That was just a bad day, and like whatever I did, I did not fix the microphone properly. Um, the biggest thing with the mics breaking and not working, it's just we're in extreme cold weather with, like, we're going to break them. It's just inevitable. It sucks, though, when you do break the mics, it's $300 each pop. I spent I spent $900 on microphones this season. <laughs> believe it or not. Still worth it. I think the videos have improved tremendously. But the, the la larves, I'm going to look into that. I'm just thinking about protecting them from the elements. Yeah, so I, I can attach another like a, another mic. So I can like put the wireless in my pocket and then yeah, I have like a one that runs up like a cord. I don't know. Five three. I'm a girl and live in Reno, Nevada. So Har, if you want, because you've been on a bunch of live streams, you're really awesome. Five three. Um, this will definitely fit you. Do you want the windbreak? Then? Reno, Nevada is definitely somewhere where I can send. I know you said you're facing up an essay. I'm assuming you're in high school. If that's the case, you have to ask your parents if you can give me your address. Uh, you'll need to email me your full name, your address, and I will send you this windbreaker. Uh, if you want it, if you don't want it, it's a size large. Um, I'd give you a medium if I could, but we are very low on the mediums. And uh, you've just been showing up in all the live streams. I really appreciate you. The fact that you're skipping an essay for this live stream um, is also, it's, it's sick, but not sick. You know, get your school with them. Um, but if you, if you're cool with that, you've got email me, email me at Jonathan underscore Buckhouse at yahoo.com. It's in the description. Uh, make sure you spell my name right. It's just like the channel. Uh, full name, address, if your parents are cool with it, and I'll send it to you. All right, she said give it to someone else. Okay. Well, if you still, Tahar, if you email me, your if you're, once again, if your parents are cool with it, Full name, address, and just put, put whatever sticker you want, and I'll send you a sticker. All right. Who is roughly around 5'6", 150 pounds? Because that's the size of the, the windbreaker. Okay, okay, hold on. I think, Nathan, you the man, but Kate, Kate's been around f forever. Kate's so awesome. Kate, you can have it. Kate, you know the deal. Also, I don't, I haven't seen a single female rocking a windbreaker so it's blue and gold works for any sex and uh you just gotta give me a, a, a shout out you know i know i think you're in the midwest kate so it might not be um you might not be riding again for the, i think you're in the midwest you might not be riding for the season uh but i definitely need uh the the shout out so other females know that they can sag the windbreakers too And shout out to Alex, who sponsored that giveaway. Uh, the sponsored giveaways are huge. Uh, really hooks people up in the channel with merch. So, Alex, man, we appreciate you so much. Yeah, Kate, okay, you better represent, Jason says. Oh, you're in Summit. Oh, Kate, then we should um, probably hand deliver it to you if you're in Summit. Where do you snowboard, Kate? Or ski, whatever you do. Where am I going to rip next? Alaska is our next big trip. Tomorrow I'll be at Keystone if anyone wants to ride me at Keystone. 
Rob, I think we have the blue ones in medium still. If you want one for your son, the uh, medium. Next time I do a jacket order, I know to have a little bit more medium. I didn't know that many medium would sell, but the, the medium did sell out pretty quick. Yeah, the neck gaiters are sick too. Those are on, um, so the stickers and the merch are on two different, um, like if I make it and if I'm making it or if I like, like we, we got these made, it's on Etsy. Teespring has been fulfilling the shirts and the hats and everything, but I'd love to bring it all to one site. So I'm hoping to get it all fixed. I'm over in Dillon, usually ride Keystone, plan on riding tomorrow morning. Ooh, Kate. Roman is swim lessons. I won't be on the mountain till probably like 11, Kate. If you want to send me a DM on Instagram, Kate, I'll look for your DM specifically. Or if you want to DM Cody, um, slash Team Huckhouse Instagram, we might be able to find it a little easier. My DMs are pretty slow right now. So Kate, if you DM me, I should be able to find yours. And maybe we can link up a time tomorrow and I can hand that to you and not have to pay shipping because that would be way nicer and paying for shipping. We need more women in snowboarding and more women in Team Hawk House. We need that rep. 100% we need more females. The cool thing though is uh, I feel like there are a lot more females snowboarding and like I think one of Bristol's stickers, I've been thinking about it. Like I wanted to have a sticker that says like chicks, chicks rip or like trick chicks shred. Um, Cause it's so true, man. The girls are getting so good at snowboarding. They're throwing triple corks now, which is like, it's so sick to see. My sister, she hasn't snowboarded. She's actually pregnant right now. She's becoming a mom. Congrats sis. Uh, my little sister was becoming an insane snowboarder. Alex, you're nuts. I, I'm I'm a little okay. This is Alex up another hundred dollar donation said get Penella sent a shirt. It's a little tricky because they're they're print on demand. So Penella sent you gotta get your parents because I think you're under 18. You gotta get your parents permission. Um but you have to message me either an email, email me, Penella sent because I'm gonna have to get your address, your size. I'm gonna have to order it from the t-shirt company to your house. Um, so I, I, won't, I won't be touching it at all. We can make sure we get you the shirt and you gotta go on to the Teespring, get the size, the shirt, everything you want. So that I can get that for you. Alex, you're an absolute man, man, mad man. $1,602. I can't even say that without squeaking, man. $1,602. He's giving away a windbreaker and a t-shirt, uh, Penel sent. But before you um, email me and everything, um, make sure your parents are cool with it. And Penel sent is awesome. Penel sent is commenting on every video. Um, Penel sent is super rad. Dude is nuts. Absolutely nuts, man. Uh, Roman is doing great. He's sleeping right now. John is going to be a millionaire by the end of the live stream. Mason, you're cracking me up. Alex was a legend before, but now he goes down in history tonight. <laughs> I love that one. Just got my Evolution Neck Gator this week. It was cooler than I thought. Yeah, the, dude, the Evolution Neck Gators are so nice. Jason, did yours have the full logo? Because for a the while, they were, they were messing up the logo and only printing, like, they're cutting off, like, the monkeys like sometimes you get that monkey sometimes you only get the walking dude so jason did you get the full-blown evolution because i've been emailing them relentlessly being like yo people are not getting the full-blown but the face mask is so nice then when you wear it under all your gear you can't even see the last guys so is your job hiring uh i like you said
I don't even think Daddy Dog could stop this, man. How is Powderhorn, Colorado? Powderhorn was sick. I really enjoyed that. And they had a pretty fun park at Powderhorn, too. It was small, but it was fun. They kid, the kids there said normally they'd build a bigger park, too. So um, I had a blast there. When is the Beaver Creek video coming out? I'm in it, Jack. We have delayed. We, we wrote it, had an insane powder day at Beaver Creek. We've delayed it so many days, partially because we had to get, like, the Christie Sports sponsorship videos out. We had to get tomorrow's the Insta360 one that I have to get out each month. Um, it's like the sponsored videos. Beaver Creek will probably post after the 7th. It's going to come out when we're in Alaska. Sorry for the delay, Jack. It's a, it's going to be a sick video. Beaver Creek is sick. We just... Uh, when you're that far ahead, we push things around. Like Cody says, I'll edit Beaver Creek when the time is right. Cody does have the Beaver Creek edit. Um, so what do you do in the off season to make videos? We just keep making snowboard videos. We still go snowboard. Um, we, uh, gonna go wakeboarding. We got a full wakeboard set up. We got mountain bikes. It's gonna be sick. So I'll email you my shirt size and address. Oh, and Pinnell said what, what shirt you want. So go to, if anyone's interested in any of the merch, hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves. Pillows. I'm going I'm to show you guys this. Go check out the Teespring. Teespring has, offers a lot of really cool merch. So we have a lot of cool merch there. And a lot of designs you guys probably haven't even seen. But you can get an Evolution pillow. This is like the Colorado Sea one that we had. But we have like the, uh, the other cooler Colorado ones. Um... We got coffee mugs if you're into coffee. Uh, but Pinella sent, go to that website, pick the shirt you want too. Um, and in the email, like say which shirt you want. Because there's so many options. Honestly, with that hundred dollar donation, if you wanted a if you want a um what's it called? If you want like a hoodie instead or a sweater, let me know. Mason says. 122,000 on YouTube and 129.5 on TikTok. I know, I want to get 130 on TikTok, but uh, oops, just don't tell my wife she uh, <laughs> Alex dropped another a $50. So don't tell his wife. I'm not telling no one, dude. Um, 1,652 dollars. Are you kidding me? Alex goes down as a legend, complete legend. Um, Kate says, question, did you mean to send the phone video premiere on April 4th already? Oh yeah, uh, I've been hanging out as an upcoming video in my feed for a couple of days, wanting to Monday. Yeah, Kate, so so if you guys see there's the the I like the no phone zone for for Breck is premiering on April fourth. That's supposed to be that way. We just got that edit done a lot sooner than um whatever. But that's the date that that video is going up. And I was like, it's like it's it's edited, it's uploaded. I was like, why not just put it in as a premiere? Like I've never had a video sit that long. So you know, creating that suspense. Um, and so uh, yeah. Hopefully, because we, we're, we're supposed to be editing two a day. I do one, Cody does one. Um, I'm currently halfway through two of mine. So tonight, after this live stream, I'm going to stay up late, get those done, get the Mountain TV done. And, <laughs> and then um, we'll have more like in the queue. Because once again, like getting the thumbnails, getting uploaded, all of that is important to get it done before Alaska. So if we can go into Alaska with like every video like ready to rock, be a game changer. Alex dropped two more dollars. Says what it do, DT mountain bike. Then this is the night of Alex. It's going down in history. Oh, Alex, let's see. Yeah, Alex is going week two, Jason. So Jason, you will meet Alex in week two at Snowboard Camp. 
I gotta get the rest of the people down. I also get the four people from last year that moved their spot to this year. Cause Bristol was like, you know, I'm coming early and I'm messing up summer camp. We ain't having a baby this year. So nothing's messing up summer camp. Brian B, we do a, a summer camp every year. I believe it's, it's basically full. It should be full. I gotta like, Figure, that's why I'm not saying, that's why I'm not pushing camp hard this live stream. I think there's like one spot available and I don't know what week. <laughs> so I got to get all that figured out before I'm like, all right, guys, I'll, I'll probably make a post on Instagram. If you're interested in something coming to summer camp, I'll make a post saying what week and how many spots are open very soon. Was that snowboard last week going to Vail for the first time next week? How do I, how does it compare in your opinion? Snowbird and Vale are both sick. They're both massive. I think Vale's a little bigger. Um, I think Vale has a better train park. And I think you can have an incredible time at both. Colorado snow is different than Utah snow, um, too. We pushed camp too hard last week. Alex, we did push camp pretty hard last week, which is good because it filled up like I needed it to, which made me be able to get the Airbnb. The biggest thing is like Airbnb can only sleep 10 people so if we keep add if people keep signing up for camp people got to sleep on the couch and i don't want to do that i also don't want to like over cram the airbnb you know 10 people is gonna be a lot we'll be i mean someone might have to sleep in the camper with me we're gonna because <laughs> we'll have the airbnb it's gonna be the airbnb and then three campers in front because michael cody and myself will be there yeah he's, he dropped another two dollars so he's at what one thousand six hundred and fifty six dollars we gotta we gotta remember the total just total we gotta remember the total just in case someone wants to to try and dethrone alex from the most donated ever on a live stream when was my hardest fall uh season three right after quitting my job keystone opened up they had big jumps i knuckled hard on a big jump on my butt doing a back three and i thought i broke my back i didn't thank god but it really hurts. Slixer, what up, bro? Got that air mattress? Is it Slixer, are you coming? I got an air mattress for you. <laughs> uh, steak and potatoes on me, week two. All right, Alex. The food menu for camp is more like pizza, burgers, spaghetti, you know, like simple meals for a lot of people that like everyone can eat. But if you want to do steak and potatoes week two, we eating good. And that puts you at 58. I would sleep on the kitchen table if I had to. <laughs> Camp's going to be great. Um, Tahar, to, to to I think I'm saying your name right. Uh, I would love for you to come to camp one, uh, one year. Girls are totally invited to camp, by the way. We've had girls come in the past. We have a girl coming this year to camp. Um, definitely come if you can. Heather Rogers with a $20 donation says, you've been a huge inspiration to my husband, Rob Rogers. Thank you for all your amazing videos. Yes. Heather, nice to meet you. I don't know if I've ever seen you on a live stream. Rob is amazing. You're amazing. I'm sorry you guys had a great winter. Um, stoked to be an, like to, that right there that I'm an inspiration to Rob is why I do this because I was so inspired by others when I was a kid. I looked up to them. It really molded me as a person and to be that to other people, it means the world to me from not only snowboarding to but being a husband to being a dad, you know, being a shredder, it's incredible. So Heather, thank you for the $20 donation. Thank you for your words. Um, is that, is that how we're going to end this? Is that, is that the, uh, the end of the insane, the madness, Alex, dude, you made last week's live stream was absolutely insane. And then you're like, nah, dude, that was, that we're just warming up. He was like, we're just warming up. We're just get signed up. For Bow! Mason, we're going to post mountain biking, snowboarding, uh, maybe some family stuff. We, Mason, just keep watching. You'll see the content we post in the summer. We post a ton of awesome videos. All these tips. You're doing something right, Buckhouse. Slixer, dude, I appreciate you. Just so you guys know, Slixer was my first ever subscriber. I'm saying it, claiming it. Slixer was the first one to engage in the chat, be there. He's the first member of Team Huff House. Slixer, we love you, bro. Terry, how you been? Haven't seen you in a minute. 
it was hard to get off live streams that are like this, this fun and insane. Love the crew. Welcome Jeremy to Team Hawk House. Alex, man. We, re we really do appreciate you. Whenever someone goes crazy like Alex, Daddy Dog's done it, Melissa's done it. You, you're giving back so much to the community, man. We really do appreciate it. All right. Jubilee, no, you thank you for being here. All right, Team Outcast. Kate, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. And with that, uh, I got to get to editing. We got videos coming your way. Once again, Kenny made the... Uh, you can go look at the short. Go to my shorts and see the... You get a sneak peek of the LED snowboarding. That's going to be a really cool video. And uh, with that, Team Outcast, thank you so much for just uh, hanging out with me tonight. Obviously... Alex, and dude, we had big donations. Jason dropped $100. Uh, Rick dropped 200 You know, we had big donators tonight, guys. Thank you, everyone, for supporting Team Hawk House, for supporting the stream, the community, everything we do for snowboarding. You guys are incredible. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you tomorrow with an insane uh, Crested Butte video to follow up, the last insane Crested Butte video. Keep watching through the summer, and I'll see you guys uh, next week with the next live stream, but I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video.